I would say I am primarily a poet, and then I try to take poetry as many places as I can. So if I can take poetry into fiction, I'm working on a novel while I'm here. Um, but I still think that it should be very poetic. I had wonderful poetry teachers while I was in school. I think I loved writing when I was younger, but um, and I loved writing in all kinds of genres, but it was really when I went to college and I had these fantastic poets as professors. Um, I, it was then that I really got turned on to poetry. And Well, I love the precision of poetry. I feel like poetry has such an impact and it speaks to the heart more than I think other genres because it names those things that are very hard to name and it does so in such a short period of time with such few words that um, it's very potent. You know, it's, it's very exact. It demands a lot of you as a writer and I find that I take that with me into other genres as well like screenwriting or fiction. I think as human beings we want to connect, we want to be together, and sometimes we're afraid that whatever we think or whatever we have to say might separate us from the community or from those we would want to belong to. And so that effect is that, you know, we can silence ourselves, we can hold back you know, very important thoughts, very important things that um, should be contributed. We all should contribute to the society. And I think that poetry offers a place for people to name what should be named or to speak thoughts that um, they may be afraid to, to speak. And You don't have to use, you know, this elevated language to move people. Poetry has room for all kinds of voices and all kinds of languages. And My novel is uh, it's about a woman's relationship with her dead husband, the correspondence between the two of them. Hedgebrook gives me the space to really enter it. I feel like when I'm working on mo the novel, is called Mama John. I feel like when I'm working on Mama John, it's like going into a very cold ocean. Like once you go in the water, it's great and it feels wonderful, but it's really cold. And so, you know, as you're getting in, you put your toe and you're like, oh, I don't want to go in there. And in LA, there are so many other distractions that would keep me from actually going in the water. But at Hedgebrook, you, there's no other distractions. There's nothing to come between me and my writing. And so I can just go in the water and then I can swim and then I can go to dinner and I can tell everybody else what's going on in the water and then I can read them what came out of the water and, and they understand. So I, I, I feel like I do end up writing about women a lot in my work, women's lives um, or women's experiences. I think my work goes a lot of places. Some pieces are very political. Um, the book I'm also tweaking a book of poetry right now, which will um, be out in the fall. And that book is called Prayers Like Shoes. And I feel like a lot of my work is like prayer sometimes. 